Hey, hey, it's TDA and welcome to this new Dyson Sphere program let's play. This will be a by the book let's play, by which I mean we are using the vanilla game. No mods, not anything that which, well, that doesn't come naturally with the game. And second of all, by the book in this case means that we'll be heavily using the blueprints. Um, that has two benefits. It allows me to keep up the speed. This game can get really slow later on in the game when you are focusing on building a lot of large projects if you use blueprints um yeah it goes a lot faster the second benefit is, is that if you want to play along with me i will be sharing the blueprints so you can use them for your own games uh, of course you're more than free to just play your own game uh, build your own stuff etc or tweak my blueprints whatever you want um but it's a nice opportunity to just share my buildings with you and it can save you some time there is a limit to how much sorters and belts you can connect and that still be fun, at least in my opinion. I will be starting a completely new game and a completely random galaxy just with the default settings. Apparently this is the galaxy we're getting so I have no idea if this is any good or not. There's a black hole all the way out here apparently. Um, so yeah, let's do this. If you want to play along with this specific map with me. You simply put in the cluster seed that's over here, so 19636915. If you put that into your game, you will get the exact same map, same galaxy, starting point, etc. as I have. Of course, assuming you set all the other settings the same as well. But again, these are the default settings. So without further ado, let's jump in. So pretty. I turned off the advisor in one of my other games and I think that means we won't actually have the advisor talking at all during the tutorial now. Which is a shame in a way because there's a lot of nice little English language things that are quite funny. If you want to hear them I suggest that you watch my other Let's Play. Uh, I quit that halfway through because simply said the speed was really going down too low for it to be watchable on YouTube. Um, but it gives you a good impression of the early game and it has all the tutorial stuff in there, including all the bad English that comes along with it. So um, I really hope they keep that in, by the way. It's just so much fun. Um, but yeah. So we're about to land on our nice little planet. The annoying thing about the starting planet, by the way, is that there's that there tends to be a lot of oceans. Um, I'm not sure if the ratio of oceans and land is always the same. By the looks of it, we have quite a lot of building space on this one, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, <laughs> oceans tend to get in, in the way of, uh, of building stuff. But anyway, that's part of the game, so it's no problem at all. Let's see where we end up this time. I see stone, I see iron, I see copper. You always get these little two starter uh, deposits over here, of course. So no surprise there. But yeah, it's good to see those uh, being there. North is up there. We will have some, let's see, some deposits over here and here. We have some nice amount of... Let's see, iron over here, stone over here, copper over here, which is actually an interesting position. Um, quite a lot of building room over here, so that could be nice uh, to use. Um, yeah. But before we go into all those details, let's queue up some research. We want, of course, this one, because that's the only one we can pick. We want the belts, we want the smelters. We want the assemblers and then we want the research. After that, we will want to go for the mecha core um, because we need it for pretty much everything else. And we also want to unlock mass construction so we can actually use blueprints um, and the second tire of that as well. It's quite expensive to get that initially, but it will just make our lives so much easier down the road. 
that it's worth getting that uh, as quick as possible. Now we will need magnetic coils, 10 of them, for our first research, so let's queue those up. There is not a lot of trees actually here, that's interesting. So let's hop over to the side a bit to gather some trees, because we will need, need fuel. And there is our miner. Just grabbing a few trees over here because it's really annoying to run out of fuel while you're crafting your first stuff. It's gonna happen either way, but while we're here. Alright. So, obviously, we want to start out with our little production center with iron. Ideally, if we can cover all six veins. There we go. That is useful. Just flipping the map so we're building from east to west. We will need to power this. Let's see which direction do I want to build my power in. Um, I think over there. There we go. So there we go. Now we have some iron coming in. We will need 10 of these. We will also need some of these. We actually don't have enough iron. We probably also need a little bit of copper. Let's mine a little bit of that manually while we're also getting some of that. Some more of those. Um, what do we actually need to build that one? have everything we need for that there's no such thing as having enough iron especially in the early game so make sure that whenever you have a moment you start crafting that uh, okay that's done uh, yeah I actually already queued those up and I just cancelled those so let's queue those up once again We will want to craft some of those, so let's queue some of that up. And actually before we do that, we will need another miner. We will also need some of these, some of those. Power, no such thing as too much power. And now we wait for a moment. We might as well use that time to gather some more trees. Okay, there's the smelters. And let's see, we want to craft a few things actually so let's see um like that one two let's see let's actually put one over there then we need two more so first things first connecting this one up setting this to iron once again you can never have enough iron and we also had this one, so let's put that one over there. Can we actually reach with the power? Nope, we can't. Luckily, we are already crafting some more power stations. Let's queue some more of those up as well. Um, yeah, we'll want some more smelters, but that's fine for the moment. There we go, let's put that one over there. And that way everything is powered, we want to have this crafting. This will actually be crafting copper. This one will be crafting those magnets that we need for a lot of stuff. We are very low on power and we need more magnets. We can solve that at least by getting some of those. Uh, what was I going to craft? There we go. Some more power, some more of those. 
we will also need to bring this in. Actually, oh, 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 oh. Now remember that you can actually build diagonal belts. It's very easy to forget about that if you're not careful, so... Well, careful is not maybe the good word for that, but you, you know what I mean. It's really easy to forget. Um, if I put that here, that should connect up the power. That's nice. No more power issues there. There we go. Uh, yeah, that won't actually work. Hold on. I didn't really mean to delete the whole thing there, but okay. I guess that's what we did. So let's see. Let's connect that once again. We put one over here. We have a second one by now, so that's good. This one will be crafting. Let's not do it again, please. There we go. Let's connect this up twice, because it's a further distance. It won't be working optimally if we don't. Copper, iron, and then we want another one producing iron. We can. I don't think we had one, of one anymore, did we? No, we didn't. Uh, and then some bunch of power, but we will need some more iron for that. Well, luckily, we thought of that, so... Um, let's see. One more. Yes, please. And then that. There we go. One more with iron. There. Um, let's see, I am crafting the those, yes. We will also need some of those for the next resource, so we actually have the assemblers coming in. While we're working on the assemblers, we can build some power. Just grabbing a bunch of iron and stuff like that, since we know we'll need that. Just requeuing this because it was crafting magnets that we just picked up. Uh, that's again why we are focusing on making sure we have this going up and working as soon as we can. Uh, you really don't want to be handcrafting this stuff if you don't need to. Uh, we can put that one over there. Should be fine, I think. Not entirely sure actually, but uh, we'll find out. Um, crafter over there. Connecting this one up twice and that one up once. Why? Because we'll be making magnetic coils over here which need two magnets and one copper. You don't actually need to connect two magnets to this, but because the ratio needs tw two against one, if you build this up it will be producing a little bit faster than if you don't. We will also need some boxes to put stuff in. I actually don't have that much stone at the moment, but we'll get that sorted soon enough. So that should cover that. Um, boxes are cool, but if we don't produce anything to put in the boxes, then we should focus on that first. We are actually out of iron once again. Like I said, no such thing as too much iron in the early game. Picking a little bit up from everything. There we go, this one is done now as well. We pick that up. We're actually out of sorters. Uh, that's a bad thing. Uh, as you can see, it's really easy to just to forget to build something and then queue something up, cancel it again, queue something up again, etc. etc. Keep going like that for a while. Um, it's not really a bad thing, to be honest. Uh, just part of the game. It is good to make sure you're prioritizing the correct things at the right time and that you're not just waiting for something to be completed. Even though you should be building something else in order to progress. Uh, again, I'm connecting this up twice. Why? Because it needs two iron for every one copper. 
The copper is actually split between these two. It's not going to be working optimally. Uh, it's not working optimally for several reasons. One of them is power at the moment, but uh, that's something we can easily fix. Can I actually drag this out? Nope. There we go. Um, putting down these uh, windmills is really easy if you drag them out like that. It's not the optimal way maybe to place them. The spacing could be a little tighter if you do it differently. Um, but honestly, this is just very convenient to do it like that. It's really easy to do. And I like easy. Um, fiddling around with the spacing just to get like a little bit of extra space in between them is not really my thing. And I'm going to be tearing these down not too long from now. Uh, not in the next episode maybe, but um, yeah, somewhere down the line. They will most likely be coming down, so yeah. Um, it helps if this is actually working, so let's put a power station over there as well. And then we want this one over here. This one is actually in a really bad position now, I think of it, because I am going to... Let's finish this one first. So this one will be making gears. That way we have all the main important items being made over here. Let's make sure they are all put in a box. That way we have a little bit of a stockpile coming up. Connecting these up a little bit like that. We actually don't need the gears to go in here because why not? We want this one. And look, I'm out of iron. Again, no such thing as enough iron in the early game. There we go. What was I making? <coughs> this one. That one. Let's make a few of those. We will actually need some of those as well, but we're out of rocks. Which is interesting. We'll have to pick some of those up, but that can wait a moment. Um, one more of those. Hey look, it's iron. Remember when I said we can never have enough iron? We probably need a lot more sorters though, so... We are starting to make manual circuit boards, which I don't want, because we are mass producing those at the moment. I think we can scale those up now. Let's make 10. Let's make some belts. And that's probably the last belts I want to make manually. Because if we do this, and we connect this one up, like so, then we can have this producing bells for us. And then if we put a nice little pretty box next to it, and that goes in. So we have the iron going into the assembler, we have the gears going into the assembler, both are needed to make belts. And then the belts are deposited in this box, and now we just get a free box of belts. Well, not a free box of belts, maybe, but we don't have to do anything for that. We can just pop by and um, pick them up whenever we want. You do see now that we're actually getting low in terms of how much iron is coming through on this belt. So that means that we want to be crafting one more of those. And let's make some power stations as well. You can see our production speeds up. Even, if it, even though it's manual production still, it speeds up by a lot just because we are actually, uh, we have the base materials ready. Okay, so it, once this gets completed, we have a full belt, almost, almost a full belt of iron moving in here. So that should be more than enough to supply this. Um, one more thing that we need to do, because this is all nice and dandy, but I also want to have these. I will be having part of the circuit boards being deposited over on this belt. Actually, let's do that a little differently. Let's do that like that. Let's have those. Go in over here. Should we do it like that? So, no, no, actually, no. Let's not do it like that. 
Because what do we need for um, sorters? Sorry, hard work. The drones are still working on the, uh, the belt over there. Uh, we need iron and we need surf boards. And uh, we have the little additional iron over here. We have the circuit boards over there. And then if we do it like that, we will be able to be making our little sort of production over here. And that will mean we have now pretty much infinite belts coming in over here. Like you can see, we just picked up 80. Uh, whoops. Uh, we never have to pick them up again. Uh, oh, we have to pick them up from the box, but we don't have to make them manually again. This is one thing that can happen, by the way. So this is a sorter that says it's not connected, even though it is. Um, that's for some reason because it's not recognizing that there's a belt in there. If you put one more belt in here, it should work. And if you then remove that same belt, it keeps working. It's a little quirk. Um, but yeah, that one, one little belt difference can make a real impact on your builds. So keep that in mind while you're uh, progressing. Now we actually have all the materials that we need for the early game over here already. Um, I'm almost out of fuel, which is a bad thing, so we can actually easily remedy that by crafting one of those. Do we have a box? We do. That's nice. Because we have coal over here, this will probably be removed somewhere very quickly along the way. But if we do it like that, we can make a little box over here. Put that in. We do need, of course, to power this. There we go. This way the power is actually connected. This will stop working at some point, so then the power doesn't go to waste. Um, but this coal we can use to power our mech. And the coal is actually a lot uh, more resilient in terms of being used up than the actual um, wood is that we were using before. Um, yeah, so research. We are working on a lot of research. Just picking up some of these things. Once again, pick up some iron. You can never have enough iron. There is no such thing as enough iron. Some sorters. We will put a box here. Connect this up. I suggest limiting your box of sorters here to one stack. That's going to be 200 sorters. Uh, that's more than enough for the early game. Um, but yeah, you can of course keep producing more sorters if you want. The reason that I'm limiting it is also because I want to use the circuit boards for something else. Um, running out of fuel again. This should have stocked up a lot by now. There we go. Oh, that is 90 for the chamber. We can now build blueprints until 6. But in order to progress any further than that, we will need to build... Oh, we need to build a matrix lab. Which will we do over here? We'll connect that up, making sure we have the <coughs> materials going straight in there. If you want that to be more efficient, and we probably want that, um, you can actually do it like this as well. That will actually mean, because this is not going to be the most optimal in terms of feeding this, but if you do it like that, then you make sure that there's probably more going in than it can ever process. You do need to make sure it's of course powered, so we can do that like that. Um, we don't actually need two boxes, we only need one. Let's make three of those. Why are we not getting any... Did I connect these? Yes, I did. Why is this not producing anything? It's not getting iron. Why is it not getting iron? Because this is not... Oh, right. Ah! We didn't actually power this. My bad. There we go. So we have a nice little extra stream of iron coming in. And that should mean that we're <laughs> this actually reaches the belt now. Uh, belt production, that is. It wasn't reaching it before because this was actually full. 
because but now we connected that to the sorters this is actually producing again so we need a little bit of overflow there we don't need those little pieces of belt and we still need to connect these up in order for them to actually do anything sorters hey there's a 100 sorters nice we have belts coming in over here now again that's nice as well and we want this to produce blue signs that needs the magnetic coils and the circuit boards which we have to hook have hooked up it will start producing now in order to make sure none of the production is going to waste we will connect this up like so this way it gets stored in the little box over here i suggest limiting this a little bit it's a lot less annoying if you ever decide to break this down um we connect this up and similarly we connect this up to this one and this will be producing signs um, won't actually work unless it's powered and we are actually running low on power so let's build a little bit of that let's not start making too much manual gears because we have a production center to do that I think we should be able to fit one on over there there you go nice now just one matrix slab is actually not going to be producing that much so if we double up on those um, we should be using most of the capacity we have in terms of what we're producing. This is a rather expensive um, blueprint to start on first, but because we're using all the blueprints, um, I prioritize this because 60 um, building limit on your blueprints is not quite not a lot. It really means you need to chop up anything you build because every piece of belt, for example, every sorter is one little building. So you really e very easily reach 60 once you get to the uh, like medium builds. Um, this will kick up the cap to 150. That's still not a lot, but it's uh, a lot more convenient, especially for some of the larger builds that we want to do early on in order to really kickstart our uh, production. We'll just need to wait a little bit for this to complete. That is actually not a bad thing because we can use that time and put it to good uh, to use. Because let's take a look around at our starting location. So we, we took a quick look at the start. I think we have several options here actually where we could start. Um, so we have this spot which has lots of stone and coal. Uh, iron, uh, what is it? Not uh, iron, copper. We really need iron. So we need lots of iron. We have that over here. There's just not much else close by. We also have the iron over here, um, but we also need copper, so let's see. We've got copper over here. We don't need that much copper, so that might be enough. But let's just quickly check around if there's any better spots. There's this copper over there, copper over there. Um, hmm. So we have iron over there. Yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of liking this spot close to where we're starting. So that's that's not that bad either. Um, the real question then becomes, do we go down or do we go up? So there's two things I'm looking for here. Um, iron and iron and iron, basically. So that's three things, but you get, you get the point. Um, so we need iron, but we also need stone. And we need copper. So we have all of those things relatively close. So it'll take some work to get it all the way down here. But that's not, not a big deal. Um, the real thing I want is a large um, space from east to west to west to east. Where I can build some of my larger constructs. And we have a, a really nice open area over here where we can do that. Um, we also need stone. Which we have plenty. Uh, and we will at some point want to get in some uh, coal and oil. And we have that down here as well. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go in this position. The real question becomes, do we start at the top? Or do we start more closer to the bottom? But I think we'll just start on the top because that's closer to our main base now as well. Um, just checking if my whole east to west thing still makes sense if I look at it correctly. Because I was moving around the map a lot there. Um... But yeah, I think it does, so we can start start over here, maybe move in that direction then. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, we actually have the oil over there, the copper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry for all that rambling, but kind of scouting out <laughs> where, where you want to start building uh, is, is not a wasted uh, time and energy. Um, it really pays, pays off in the long run. Okay. So, this will do its thing. We kind of can leave that alone now. Uh, we are going to bring belts. We have oh, like 600 belts now, so that will last us a while. Uh, let's bring a stack of sorters. That's probably more than we will pretty much ever need. Um, yeah, we have some, some of pretty much everything else. Uh, is this still producing? Yes, it is. It's kind of... Yeah, so what I'm actually going to do, because I have so many sorters, I'm actually going to discontinue this little sorter production over here. Uh, I'll bring those. That means all the circuit birds go into the signs now. And um, yeah, I can actually take out this sorter as well. It's not doing anything anymore. Uh, because I won't be coming back that much to this position anymore. So that's fine. We also need... Oh, I don't want to build this, but... We also need some power. I don't want to have to come back to this too much to get my power back up and running. And then we need to start working on a few things. So we need actually a lot of those. Um, let's just make two initially. And then maybe ten after that just to get that going. A few of those. Um, and several of those. We will need stone. And we will need stone for a lot of things. So let's see. Just doing a last little bit of scouting here. So where do I exactly want to build my larger construction? If I started over here uh, around the heights of this stone and I pull it all the way down here, I think we should have enough room. Yeah, and if not, we'll find out. It's not a big deal if we don't have enough room. We could go down a little bit further. Um, but this is actually a really nice space to do some of the other larger builds. So let's leave that open and let's just let's just do it here. Why not? Why not? All right, but that means uh, we need to do a few things. So we need to connect up some iron. And some copper and some stones. And just thinking about it for one more moment. Uh, let's make sure we do it in such a way that we don't mess up our own position. Uh, you always want to make sure that you connect these up to six, six veins. More is fine as well, but make sure it's at least six because if you have two of these hooked up to in a, a total of six um, paints, then you can fill a full Mark 1 belt. Um, and that means that's the most that you can have on a belt, so that way you're not wasting any resources on your belt, um, any space on your belt, you're just maxing that out. Um, making sure this is all powered. Actually put one over here, some extra power as well, there we go. Our blueprint is almost done. Let's make sure we queue up some other research as well while we're at it. Um, what do we need? Well, pretty much everything, but this will be very useful. So actually, let's turn those around. Queue those up. Um, don't need those right away. We don't really need that right away anyway, but it's really cheap. Let's... Um, Pick all this up. This can wait for a moment. Actually, this can wait for a moment as well. Steel. There we go. Let's make sure we get all the buildings first. There we go. Um, this one. That one. And then we can move on to this. Uh, yeah, and the queue is full. So we'll get back to that. Okay. Um, yeah, so, stone, 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 stone. Actually, let's plan this out. So I have all the blueprints here. I'll put those in the descriptions. 
Um, I'll end the episode here, so before we start building all the other stuff. This is really all the preparation work you need to do to really get your base started. Um, I have to start a base in here. It's a little bit different layout than what I used here because of the, the way the resources were ordered, but it's the same basic thing. Um, so if you're already further in the game, you have to, the blueprints unlocked. You can just open this up, plop it down for a moment and see what it looks like if you want to start over. Um, just hopping back to the base here for a moment so you can see the whole idea is to get some basic production up and running. Um, a little bit of everything, a little bit of research. This will all be ticking away while you build the proper base, speed up the research for real. Um, and then have the good bases to go for the, the mid game and late game builds. Alright, so that is it for now. Uh, a little bit longer than I intended it to be because I got excited about <laughs> scouting out the next little area. But in the next session we'll be focusing on getting our real base up and running and making sure we never have to handcraft buildings again or at least not of the, the basic kind. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you haven't.